Hello, today I'm showing you every single gem in Don't Starve and Don't Starve Together. Gems. How to obtain the gems and each gem related staff and amulet. This video was suggested by Milk Carton. The first gem is the blue gem. This gem is obtained from digging graves with a 15.35% chance for the grave to drop a red or blue gem, a small chance to drop from killing blue hounds, earthquakes or stalagmites in the caves, ancient statues and ornate chests in the ruins, destroying ancient pseudoscience stations, Klaus's blue gem deal when they or he is killed, from the dragonfly and from tumbleweeds. Blue gems are used to make the ice staff, chilled amulet and snow chester. Snow chester is made by placing one blue gem in each of his slots and waiting till the full moon. Snow Chester preserves food and halves its spoilage time, like an icebox. If Chester dies, he will revert into normal Chester. The chilled amulet only has one use, reducing your temperature. In summer, it's so useful for emergencies, but otherwise it's best to save your gems for other things. The Ice Staff is a tool which can be used to freeze enemies after a certain number of hits depending on the enemy. It can be used to kill enemies by using gunpowder, or just to escape from dangerous situations. Blue gems, like all the gems, can be socketed into, into a cratered moon rock to get a moon lens. Moon lenses will show up on the map even if you haven't seen them yet, useful for marking out a base on a public server. A blue moon lens is required to craft the moon dial. The blue gem's element appears to be ice or water. Red gems can be obtained from digging graves, killing red hounds, earthquakes, stalagmites, ancient statues and ornate chests from underground, broken clockwork from the ruined, the dragonfly, tumbleweeds destroying ancient pseudoscience stations and Klaus's red gem deer. The red gem can be used to make the fire staff, life-giving amulet, purple gem, the end is nigh, nightlight and the scaled furnace. The fire staff can be used to set enemies alight from a distance, but at risk of burning their loot and surrounding area. The life-giving amulet is an extremely valuable res resurrection item, because it can resurrect you without a health penalty, and without another player needing to give it to you. The end is nigh is one of Wickerbottom's books that summons lightning strikes, useful for charging at WX78. The nightlight is a night source that requires nightmare fuel as fuel, and the scaled furnace requires you to kill the dragonfly but provides an endless heat and light source, albeit with a small range. The red gem's element appears to be fire. Purple gems can be crafted from one red gem and one blue gem. They can also be obtained from killing clockwork bishops, ornate chests, destroying plurican clockworks, destroying ancient pseudoscience stations, the dragonfly, and tumbleweeds. They are used to make the shadow manipulator, bat bat, telelocator staff, and the nightmare amulet. The purple moon lens is used to make the Occu Vigil, a device which reveals the map around it and removes fog of war in its range. The Shadow Manipulator is a tier 2 magic rototyping station. The Bat Bat is a weapon which drains your sanity but leeches health from enemies. The Telelocator Staff is used to teleport yourself to a random location on the map, and if you build a Telelocator Focus, it will teleport you to that if you stock at the Focus with 3 purple gems. The Nightmare Amulet can be used to easily dip in and out of insanity, useful for fighting the Ancient Fuel Weaver. The purple gem's element appears to be darkness. The yellow gem is obtained from the dragonfly, mining ancient statues, destroying relics, looting ornate chests and from tumbleweeds. It is used to make the Starcaller Staff and the Magiluminescence Amulet. The Magiluminescence Amulet makes you glow, deterring Charlie, and also makes you run 20% faster. This amulet is extremely useful for exploring the ruins, especially with Wilfred, Wolfgang or WX78, because of potential speed boosts, bonus damage absorption and armor. The amulet, the amulet can be refueled with Nightmare Fuel, each unit of fuel restoring 37.5% jubilee. The star called staff is a yellow staff, and using it summons a, a tiny dwarf star, which provides heat, light, and can be used to cook food on it and restore sanity. The star lasts for two minutes or one quarter of an in-game day. The yellow staff can be placed into a moon base to start the moon event, which requires you to defend the moonstone from attacking monsters on the full moon. Once the event is complete, the star called staff is now the moon caller staff, which acts similarly except it summons an endothermic style star, which cools you down, restores sanity, and can't be used to cool food. The yellow gem's element is light. The green gem is obtained from the dragonfly, mining ancient statues, destroying relics, looting ornate chests, destroying ancient pseudoscience stations, and from tumbleweeds. It's used to make the construction amulet and the deconstruction staff. The deconstruction staff can only be used on a structure or item to gain all of the crafting requirements back, unlike using a hammer which only gives you half. The construction amulet halves the cost of all crafting recipes all held. Green gems are the rarest type of gem, however the green amulet and staff are incredibly powerful. If you craft something with the, con with the construction amulet, then use a deconstruction staff on it, you actually gain more resources. You can use this to gain more rare items such as Lewisite, Mandrakes or gems for example. 
Green gems are actually renewable in Rare and Giants and don't slap together, because in Rogue the Tumbleweeds have a tiny chance to drop them, and in Don't Slap Together the Dragonfly drops 1-2 to two green gem. This technically makes everything in the game renewable, however to an extremely expensive cost, and lots of tumbleweeding. Due to the rounding system, the item gain method doesn't work on items that are only used once in recipes, such as mandrakes in the pan flip recipe. Gems are still gainable through this method because some of the ruined starves use more than one gem. You can, however, keep mandrakes forever, because when the pan flute is at 10% durability, you can deconstruct it and get the mandrake back. The green gem's element appears to be labour. The orange gem is the final gem in Don't Starve. It is obtained from the dragonfly, mining ancient statues, destroying relics, looting ornate chests, destroying ancient pseudoscience stations, and from tumbleweeds. It's used to make the lazy forager and lazy explorer. The lazy forager picks up items lying on the ground and transfers them to your inventory, with 225 uses. It does have some limitations however. The forager can't pick up items that take time to pick up, such as berries, grass, and twigs. It can't stack. It can't pick up stacks of items, but will rather take one item off the stack at a time. And it will pick up tooth traps, traps, bird traps, and bee mines, which can be annoying if worn around your trap area. The lazy explorer is a direct upgrade to the walking cane, one of which it requires to craft. It increases your speed at no cost, like the cane, but you can use it to teleport to places on your screen by right clicking. The staff has ten. The staff has twenty teleports before it breaks and each teleport reduces your sanity. It's useful for escaping from dangerous situations and for crossing land gaps. The orange moon lens is used to, cra is used to craft the lazy desert. The orange gem's element appears to be laziness. There is actually one more gem in Don't Slap Together. If you use the deconstruction star from the moon colored stuff, you get an iridescent gem, which represents an opal. It doesn't really have any uses because the moon colored the moon colored stuff cannot be crafted. However, the intention to detail in this item is incredible. The gem doesn't seem to have an apparent element, though it may have the element of ether, which in Greek astronomy made up the area beyond what they believe to be our solar system. Ether is also sometimes called quintessence. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay from earlier this week. Again, I apologize for all the errors like the echoes. Next recording session, we'll record in different rooms to reduce that. We did binge record a few episodes worth, so for the next few episodes, yes, there will be echoes. Bear with us because they'll be over soon.